Oh, that silly Garfield, he sure hates Mondays, doesn't he? But does he? Does he really hate Mondays, or is it the idea of what Monday does that he hates? Is it the fact that most of us, when we go to work on Mondays, work at a job that's not really our own, it's not really a job that we would choose to do if we could do anything with our time, and it's certainly not something that we would want to do if we didn't have to do anything at all. If we could choose anything we wanted to do, we wouldn't be going to work at a doing customer service for somebody else, being paid for our time sitting there in front of a computer with earbuds in our ears and just answering the phone over and over and over again. Not really having any ownership of the nature of our work or how we do that work or certainly not any ownership of the company that we work for and all that. This is what Marx describes as alienation. We're alienated from our labor when we're being paid to do it by somebody else. We don't have ownership of our time. We don't have ownership of the products of our labor. We don't have ownership of the, the company. We don't get the, the full profit that we're making for the company. And we certainly don't have the choice to do anything else, really. I mean, yes, we can quit our jobs and we can go get a different job, but we can't just quit our jobs and do whatever we want. We have to, you know, make money and pay rent and live in a society live in this society specifically. And we don't really have the option of doing the things that we'd really prefer to be doing, taking care of our families, spending time with the people that we enjoy, spending time on ourselves, working on our own personal well-being and worth and learning new things, trying new skills, building our own ways of working. If we didn't have to work for somebody else, if we didn't have to make money, if we weren't constrained by that aspect of our economy, I think a lot of us would be actually a lot more productive. We would actually be doing much more for society than we do right now. But we don't really have that opportunity because most of our time is being sold. And with that time, most of our energy is being sold too. It's not really the fact that we have to do the job, that we have to do the work. It's not the work that actually is draining on us. It's not Mondays that we hate. It's the fact that we don't get the value of our work. We don't really get the opportunity to do what and how we want. We don't have the opportunity to contribute precisely the skills that we want, by and large, to the world that we would want to do. Some people do. I mean, some people do escape from this. There's, you know, entrepreneurs and whatnot. But the position of an entrepreneur is somewhat a privileged one. You have to have resources before you can actually start doing something as an entrepreneur. You need seed money, you need the opportunity to be able to be afloat for a few months while you get yourself on your feet, while you get your business running. So it's not just so easy as pulling yourself up by the bootstraps and, you know, anybody can do it if you just work hard. You have to be lucky, too. And that's constraining, and it's detrimental to our society at large. We are not working at our best in this way. And if we didn't have this financial compulsion to work in the way that we're working, I think we'd all be better off. All of society would be, not just the folks that end up with a short end of the stick under this economy. Anyway, this is just a short, quick video today. I do make videos daily, though, and so if you're interested in uh, seeing more of them, there's some right there. And I'm working on one, uh, a long-form one about addiction, which I've tried to rework a little bit and hopefully it'll be coming out soon so thanks for watching and um you know if you like this video subscribe do all those algorithmic things and i'll see you tomorrow